Welcome learners to our today's session. In this session, we are going to concern ourselves about derivatives in financial risk management. This is topic 6 under advanced financial management CPA section 6. According to the syllabus, we are supposed to cover the following. Number one, the meaning, nature, and importance of derivatives. This is by looking at futures, forwards, options, and swaps. The second item, pricing and valuation of derivatives. Futures, forwards, options, various types of risk, operational risk, political risk, economic risk, physical risk, regulatory risk, current risk and interest rate risk. We are also going to explore foreign currency risk management. Therein, there is the type of forex risk, hedging currency risk, forward contracts, money market hedge, currency options, currency features, and currency swaps. Next, we are going to look at interest rate risk, the term structure of interest rate, forward rate agreement, interest rate futures, interest rate swaps, and lastly but not the least, look at interest rate options. So our topic today is advanced financial management, which is Derivatives in financial risk management. Derivatives in financial management. For today's topic, we are going to look at the meaning, nature, and the importance of derivatives. So, number one, the meaning. Nature and importance. Of derivatives in essence then the derivative instruments for focus are number one forward number two futures number three swap For our topic today, we will look at up to what futures. We look at forward and futures. And in our next lesson, we will look at swap and option. So, what is the meaning of derivative? Or derivative. A derivative is a financial instrument in which that financial instrument derives its value from another instrument or from another financial asset. This 
other financial asset is called the underlier. The underlier can be a share, a bond, a currency, or even a commodity. So when we talk of derivative, we talk of a, car, a contract. And this contract is the one in which the value is determined by something else. So this is a financial instrument. And financial instruments, they can be of various types. It can be a security. It can be an asset or a claim to future what benefits yeah of a company's cash flows the return of this financial instrument return is based on an underlier return is based on another asset another asset and this asset we are calling it an underlier underlying an underlying so what could this underlying be this underlying would be a bond a currency it could be a share or it could be a commodity. This commodity involves things like agricultural produce, meat, wheat, corn, or barley. It can be precious metals like gold, or it can be oil, for example. So derivatives are contracts. And these contracts trade in financial markets. So there are two types of markets where these contracts trade. So these trade in markets. There are two types of markets. The first market is what we call the organized exchanges. And the next type of market is what we call over, over the counter, commonly referred to as OTC. So organized exchanges are the regulated security exchanges. Over the counter are where private agreements are what signed. So these are regulated they are restricted to different physic, uh, physical locations for example the nairobi securities exchange is what present within the nairobi geographical area and over the counter is present worldwide there is no what geographical restriction they can occur between what virtual system between the network of computers then what instruments that trade in organized exchanges? In organized exchanges, we have here the futures. Yeah, futures derivatives trade there. Over the counter, we have forward and swap. Forward three, this is swap. However, for the options, options are two. Options normally trade over the counter. But there are options that trade in the OTC. These options that trade in the OTC are normally what we call the bond option. The options in which the underlying is what? Is a bond. They are the ones that trade with OTC. But majority of them trade in the organized exchanges. So having understood what derivative is, let us look at the type 
of derivative type of derivative the first type we we'll look at are forwards what are forwards forwards are generally agreement or future commitment whereby one party agrees to do something for another party in perspective we mean that there are two parties one party agrees to either buy a financial instrument at a future date at a price agreed with the other party who is the seller they agree at that future price today so forwards are will go and produce 1 million barrels of oil. If he is targeting to produce 2 million barrels of oil in the next three months, but he is worried about the future price. If the current price is US dollar 5 per barrel, he can create at the, our derivative contract which is a forward and agree to look for another party who will buy this uh, oil in future the two million oil uh, two million barrels of oil to be produced at a price let's say of us dollar three they will lock in the rate the producer of oil will produce oil and in three months time you'll be able to what to fetch the agreed three uh, the agreed us dollar 5.3 uh, us dollar 5.3 per barrel therefore you will not have what the uncertainty as far as the oil price is concerned so having looked at an example and having looked at what a forward is we need to uh, look at other generality, generalities that concern about uh, the forward price, isn't it? So the other generalities we are talking about the forward price. Remember, the forward price in our example, the world producer has committed himself to get 5.5 three US dollar per barrel of well produced that becomes our forward price this forward price is specified for a later date but is agreed upon what today the party offered the contract to sell takes a short position and therefore we also uh, what happens when the three months are over the term the term this is the life of the contract how long 
so this is the three months so what happens when the term is over the three months we have something we call the settlement and a forward can be settled by two ways the first is what we call delivery yeah the oil producer commit himself to deliver what what we call the 2 million quantity of barrels of oil oil that is what he delivers and the short party the seller sorry this is the short party delivers the short party delivers that is the seller the buyer now the long party will what cash will pay pay cash deliver and pay cash and this cash is paid what by the long party the buyer that is one method of settling the forward the next method is what we call cash settled forward contract the cash settled forward contract remember we are saying there are various types of the underlying and one of the underlying can be maybe a currency or a share and one of uh, the instruments that are used can be what we call non-deliverable they are not physical commodities we can touch so how do we come at the life of the contract the term when it's over at the termination then you are supposed to get the difference of the agreed upon forward price you compare it with the market price so the party that owns the other pays what the difference what do we mean in a car settled uh, forward contract we mean the parties look at the forward price they compare they compare against what the current market price that exists at what the termination <music> Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to get yourself a copy of our professionally prepared study text and revision partners. Visit our shop along Tomboya Street, Pioneer House, 3rd floor, opposite fire station.